Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. EU chief Ursula von der Leyen confirmed earlier this week she wanted Russian President Vladimir Putin to face the International Criminal Court over war crimes in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the British MOD claimed in its latest intelligence updated that Russia has increased its rocket attacks on civilian infrastructure this past week. Likely in an attempt to undermine the morale of Ukrainian citizens and local governments even as Putin's forces retreat from Kharkiv. Russia has launched several thousand long-range missiles against Ukraine since 24 February 2022. However, in the last seven days, Russia has likely extended the locations it is prepared to strike in an attempt to directly undermine the morale of the Ukrainian people and government. President Putin however denied that his forces had been routed in eastern Ukraine and yesterday claimed his troops were continuing to take territory in the Donbas while speaking at a Shanghai Cooperation Organization summit in Uzbekistan. In what were his first comments since his army collapsed and fled from the Kharkiv region of Ukraine last weekend. On Friday, Russia has increased its targeting of civilian infrastructure even where it probably perceives no immediate military effect, the update read. As it faces setbacks on the front lines. Our offensive operation in the Donbas is not stopping. They're moving forward. Not at a very fast pace, but they are gradually taking more and more territory, Putin said. A smiling Putin warned of a more serious response if the Ukrainian counterattacks continue to gain ground. The Kyiv authorities have announced that they have started an active counter offensive operation. We'll see how it goes and how it ends, he said with a smirk in the Uzbek capital of Samarkand. In light of the threat, U.S. President Biden warned Putin to avoid using nuclear weapons as his forces are beaten back in Ukraine or face consequences. In a preview for this Sunday's 60 Minutes, interviewer Scott Pelley asked the president what words he would have for his Russian counterpart if he is considering using chemical or tactical nuclear weapons in the Ukraine. Biden responded, Don't. 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 You will change the face of war unlike anything since World War II. When Pelly pushed the president for America's response should Putin cross the line. Biden declined to comment on a specific plan, only saying that the U.S. would act if nuclear weapons are put into play. It'll be consequential, Biden said. Russia will become more of a pariah in the world than they ever have been. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone.